In my last video, I explained that running speed with a knife goes up to 250 and walking is 130. If running is your max speed, let's call it 100%, then walking would be 52% of your speed. But there is another option in between that I didn't know about. Shout out to this person, revealing, move up, or move down. Simply bind one of them to any key and now you're moving at roughly 81% of your running speed. I think this new speed comes from the fact that you're not really moving up or down, so it's cutting off some of it. Just my theory. The commands are meant to be used for no clip or for spectators. But anyway, it's a new speed, which you can maintain consistently by just holding down a key, and it works for any weapon. Shit, we're discovering new speeds in 2022. Secondly, and I talked about this in my last video, but as long as you don't go above 135 or 135.19 to be exact, you'll be silent. So the real question is, can you take advantage of this new speed? The answer is yes. With one of the benefits you get, I'm surprised the commands aren't cheat protected. So if we look at all the guns and what velocity you gain from using them, then take 81% of those values, we can see if any weapons would go close to 135 to move around and still be silent. And sure enough, we have three cases, the SG and AUG when scoped, and our big boy, the Negev. If we start by looking at our scoped buddies, their normal speed is 150, which obviously isn't silent. Then as we walk, we get down to 52% of our running speed, which is 78, and this is pretty slow. Like, so slow, I'd rather switch to my knife to move faster. But with the new speed, you're now moving at 120 while scoped. And if you move with two keys, you're gonna bounce around 135 and sometimes reach above 135.19. This means if you're not careful, you could drop a fart. But as you get used to it, you'll know how to be silent and still reach above 130. This is insane to me. You're now at a speed that no one else can get unless they know about these commands. And you can move faster than walking with a knife. That is a huge advantage. Now to the creme de la creme, the Negev's running speed is also at 150 and it feels chunky using it to run around. With the new speed, you can get the same values as with the AUG and SG scoped. And because of that, I would argue that this is a game changing upgrade to the Negev's mobility. There's absolutely no reason to use the Negev's walking speed anymore. And it makes it so much more viable. Now I'm pretty sure this is not meant to be the case and Val must have missed this, especially since you can move faster than walking with a knife. But what are your thoughts? Also, in my last video, I talked about the Wooting 2 HE analog keyboard that you could use as a gamepad controller and adjust your analog curve amount. So you're probably wondering if you could mix that with the new speed to reach faster moving speeds and stay silent for other weapons. The answer is simply no. The highest speed you can reach and still control consistently with analog inputs is 109.9, .9, at least in my testings. This means anything below can be controlled and locked to any weapon, and anything above will just jump you up to walking or running speed. Pretty insane that I didn't know about this.